Hello, my name is Sandy Burchell and I'm a designer at Craftsy Print. I'd like to demonstrate for you today my new design, which I've called Off Your Rocker. And as you can see, they do rock. Um, this is the one that I'm going to, to do for you today, and this is um, called Swans. Uh, cut number will be appearing on your screen now. And um, there's several sentiments for, for this card. I've chosen happy birthday for this one. Uh, but I think the one that I'm going to make for you is happy anniversary. Um, but you've got several other sentiments as well. There's four sheets in the kit. And these are the sheets here. Um, this one I've printed on a card. Um, I think it's 250 GSM. And the one that I'm going to demonstrate, which is the same as this one, photo paper, and this is also 250 GSM. Right, so once you get the kit, um, cut everything out, and this card is very similar in construction to my top slot triangle, so if you've already made one of those, um, I'm sure that you'll get on fine with this one, and it's very easy to make. Okay, so once you've cut out all the pieces, uh, this is the, the base of the card, which actually folds down and rocks. Um, and then you've got um, the two top panels, which you'll glue back to back. You've also got the pyramage on this particular one. Some of my designs have got um, decoupage. Um, it all depends which one you buy. Okay. Um, and then you've also got a front panel on this particular card. On a couple of the designs, um, this one for instance, where um, the card is completely round, um, this one's just got like the one panel in the top uh, with the decoupage. So there's a, there's a few different ones like that, this one for instance. And I've also got the new baby girl as well for that one. And then of course the other ones have got um, you know different shapes on the top. Okay. All of them as well come with a gift tag, and this is the one that comes with the one that I'm going to demonstrate for you. Okay, so once you've cut out all your pieces, what you need to do first of all is to glue with a glue stick back to back the two pieces. So on the two sheets. So you'll glue this, this one, and this one back to back. And then also on this page, you've got the front panel and you'll glue those back to back as well. Okay, so once you've glued them back to back, the next thing to do is actually to put your decoupage and your pyramage actually on, on the pieces. Okay, I've already actually put the pyramage on this one, and it's just got two layers of pyramage. Um, I just thought it'd be easier and won't take as much time if I do it before. Um, but on this piece, I've got uh, a decoupage rose to put on. So I'm just going to do that. And also, uh, the writing panel, I've actually already glued that on, and I've glued that flat. The rest of the pieces I've put on with 3D pads. Okay, I just put that on there like that, and as a, I pyramid that one already, uh, the next thing to do, I've got some decoupage for the, the front panel. Okay, now I've already layered it up, there's two layers here, so I'm just going to put this on, on the front there. And then I've got a sentiment to, to put on the bottom of this one. And again, I've, I've done it with 3D pads, but if you prefer it flat, I mean, you, could, you can glue it on if you want to. Okay, so I'm 
just going to line that up there before I press it down. So the next thing to do is to, to actually score and fold, well actually you're just going to score first of all, you're going to score down the fold line and the fold line is the darker line, so all the way across there. Um, but then, um, as with my top swap triangles, you've also got like a lighter portion and that's the piece that you're actually going to cut um, with your craft knife and ruler. Okay, so I've already done this, so I've got my slots already cut and I've folded it down and just crease it with the, the bone folder like that. And then I'm going to just open it out flat for a moment, take my top panel with the pyramage facing up and I'm just going to thread this one through the slots. push this down a little way initially and it just makes it easier to, to actually see the slots for this panel. Okay, so I'm just going to thread this one through as well. Like this. And then I'm going to push this one down, almost down. Then this one all the way down. So push it down as far as it'll go. And then you can push the other one down as well. As I say, make sure you've got no gaps here. You know, really push it down well. And then turn it over. And then you're going to... I've already put double-sided tape on each of the tabs. So I've got two tabs um, from the piece. I really didn't make that clear to you. When you actually glue these two pieces together, you need to keep the bottom bit open, just like my top slot triangles. Okay, so I can get this one back in now. And so push it all the way down. Turn it over and then peel off the double sided tape and you're just going to stick it to the front section. Do the top panel first before you do the front. Pulling it down as you go. And then the ones in the middle are your the front panel with the swan on. So again, pull it down. Okay, so that's that. And then just, just fold it out like this and then get the double sided tape off the other side. This one doesn't want to come up. Okay. Nearly there. Okay. And then all you do then is, is just fold this top, this back panel down and just press down firmly. And then as you'll see on the inside, you've got the tabs each side. Okay, and then that's your finished card there. There's also, as I said, a, a gift tag included with, with all of the kits. Um, so what you need to do with this, just, just punch a hole in the top section here. And then I'll just take a length of ribbon, maybe two feet, and fold it into four, 
and then I just thread this through from the back. The back, by the way, it's got um, like a plain pattern for you to write on. on as, as well which will fit all of these cards um, as I said you know there's, there's several different uh, designs nice wedding one this is my favorite one I, I just absolutely love this one Well, thank you very much for watching uh, my episode of Cup TV. If you want to, to look at any of these cards, uh, the place to go to is www.crashyprint.com forward slash Sandy Birchall. And um, I'll be putting them on quite regularly in the coming weeks. So, hope you'll check them out. Thank you very much. Bye.